Yeah, I'm gonna have to go like real soon. Yep. Too bad, but hey. Too you bad. have another one tomorrow. No, I'm not having another one tomorrow. Thursday is when we're having our seat hike, and we are now live. Live oh, cool. with with a HD bunch of people already on the chat. What's up? Um we actually have a shepherd. Orange and RC is in the chat. Steve O.D. is here. And Orange on. Epic RC that's here also. Good afternoon, guys. Steve O.D., you tried calling me on my uh, on, on, on the phone. You didn't hit the right button. My phone started ringing. All yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. We're all learning. We're all learning here. Getting up late here. I'll be right with you. Oh, yeah? What is it I want to show? I want to show that. And there we go. Okay, real quick off the start. Let me put this on, share this. Is that true, everybody? Okay. Something new that some people just noticed. Um, and it's and I'm glad they actually put it for lower people that has a lower channel. Um, Outback Jack was actually saying that um, uh, this was available when you have a thousand view, uh, a thousand subscribers uh, and plus, and before it used like to be ten thousand or twenty five thousand subscribers. I think I can't remember. But this community tab, which I'm MP, I have now start using it, and I hope some people don't abuse it because this is the same thing as if you publish a video. Whoever subscribed to view is actually going to see this. So if some people are actually using this um, five, ten times a day, people are going to get very annoyed and turn off that bell. So guys, be very careful how you use it or how often you use it, because this does um, send a message to everybody that uh, you've done this. But that said, I can now, because I do have some new subscribers, and I can now go there. Hey, uh, Bulgir RC, new guy. I don't think I ever saw you here. Cool. Nice to see you. Um, I do have lots of old videos uh, on here, and so sometime I'm going to republish my new video here to, to tell some people about this video. So it should be kind of cool for you guys to not have to scroll down the list of videos that I have and just go in the community, uh, you guys can actually send a message. So it's, it's almost like a Facebook page and just to uh, send messages. So I'm glad they actually unblocked that for some people. So hey. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Oh, I didn't say I'm going to clear my throat. I don't, I, I don't get what it is. What Okay, uh, on yours, how many subscribers you got? You, you're over a thousand now, so you should have it. One point three. Yeah. So uh, you have what's now a new community page. It's like a social now, media. Yeah, it's like a social media. So you can actually post pictures now, post link. You can do a poll. Uh, you can post old videos. Uh, it could be yours. Could be somebody else's. Doesn't matter. And you can post pictures. So like I did here, I posted one that said, hi, uh, what would you guys like to talk about this week? Oh, and I got okay. a few comments about it. So it, it's it's more interaction with the people, your um, all, all the people that are subscribed to you. So it's a better interaction for chit-chat. So, And I also posted this one. But what I'm saying is I hope people don't take too much advantage of it and then post like every hour because this is like posting a video. You will get an alarm and say, hey, uh, the Tank RC has actually published something new. So, Oh, okay. Honey Lulu says you're slow. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, Honey Lulu. 
Drone life is here. Oh, sorry, uh, Bulgir RC. I, I guess he's been here before. He says, I must not have made a good enough first uh, impression on, on us. Yeah, I have. Uh, I'm making a video right now. He just sent me some of his stickers. Cool. Yeah, I got to post my address up uh, on the video and actually say if anybody wants to send me stickers, go right ahead. But I have to still make mine and. I've been holding off because I don't want to send garbage stickers. I want to send good quality space stickers. So, well, that's the reason, huh? And today I just bought a new <laughs> iPad. Well, a, a used iPad. So there goes two hundred bucks again, gone. So, mm. so that's the um, the community tab, which is new on on some YouTube channel. So I, I'm kind of glad. Uh, and we have I don't know. Who else? Uh, Brian uh, Fanning is here in the chat. Who else? Honey Lulu. Hello, all. Nordic Blue RC. Hey, thanks for dropping by. If any of you want to jump in, uh, you can either post your email there. I'll pick it up real quick. Nobody else is going to see it because nobody's a moderator. Uh, I can pick it up, send you an email for with the link to actually jump in here. Or you can go on my Facebook page, the Tank RC. There's a link there. And on Google Plus also, the Tank RC, there's a link there um, to, to actually join in. So, Is Ke uh, Keegan here? Green Frog? Is he in here? Green Frog's not here yet. Not yet. Where's Jack? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. All right, good. It works first time tonight. Nice. What's up, Axio? Hey, guys. How you doing? How's the baby? Are you back home? Yeah, I just got back in. Nice. Cool. How was your trip? It was good. Really good trip. Uh, just we had bad weather right now, so it took me six hours to get home from Virginia. Oh, damn. Drone Life is asking, what is better, jet printer stickers or laser stickers? I don't know the difference. Okay. Whatever Vista Print sends me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I basically always do the laser one. I find it lasts a little bit better, and they're a little bit more waterproof. But if you do your own stickers, don't forget you do have to spray a uh, enamel on it, a clear enamel, just to make sure you seal it. Uh, I've been making some stickers for some people to put on their truck. And uh, that's what they've been doing. They take an acrylic sealer and just spray it on it, and it just seals the sticker, so uh, it doesn't deteriorate with the sun and uh, the uh, the weathering. Who was in VA? That's CCXRC. What is VA? Uh, Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. So I was axiomatic. I was. Uh... I was in Alexandria, Virginia, uh, for a couple of days, and I just got back to New Jersey. Cool. Yeah, I'm in Alexandria, too. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, yeah but Alexandria, Ontario. Oh. <laughs> hey, Tony, if you can, jump in. But I think Tony is overseas right now, so uh, it might be a little hard or get very expensive fast where he is. So I don't know how much uh, internet access he's got, so... So there's shrimp a lot. Mr. Toronto guy just showed up. Good day, Randy. Hey, Randy, did you get your community tab on your YouTube channel? No idea, bud. I've been no so idea. How many subscribers do you have? Let's go check. Oh, 200 and something. Profile. Let's go check your profile. Let's show everybody what you do. Oh, you're playing with the little drifter here. Yeah. That time it was. Oh, that's with your new body. 
Charisma is a skateboard. Did you make a jump? Uh, I didn't really jump it that much. I do have a uh, Tech 4 coming next week. Okay. You're trying to come as close as you can to the camera, I guess? What the heck? Yeah, playing with it. Tr Troy tried calling me, and this whole thing just shut down on me. Is he in here now? Right. Nope, Troy's not there yet. Oh, he's trying to get in, I think. Oh, that was a nice one. So if I go on your profile, so this is Don't Cry, Sir Shrimp Lot. No, you don't have that. Yeah, oh, you only had 235? Come on, we got to get you up there. we got to get I, you more subs. I don't post the channel, and you know that. Yeah, I know. I know, you just post it for friends and uh, yep. post it for. Now, come next season, that might change. Okay, cool. Because I will have all my projects hopefully finished. And then I'll start doing a lot of scale videos as well as scale recovery. Cool. So I'll have quite a bit going on. Well, I, I really like your playlist there of your like video. I, I, I like what I see here on all your like videos. Yeah, I do a whole bunch of stuff. My thing is I'm just really been busy the last little while. Like, I mean... I started at 4 a.m. this morning. I didn't get home until about 20 minutes ago. Oh, yeah? Guys, I'm going to have to go. So, who, whose other channel are we going to go watch now? Who wants to be seen? I do. Who wants to see a stupid bumper? The what? Who wants to see a stupid bumper? Okay, I want to see a stupid bumper. Go right ahead. Show me a stupid bumper. Yeah, well, it, it looks like bumper parts. It was all one whole bumper. This is the Sea uh, Chad bumper for trackers. And let's see what I can find. Here's a magnet. Okay. As the question, what does the magnet stick to today? It's so, onto metal. This is part of the bumper. It sticks. Other part of the bumper. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's stuck to the part of the weld. Wait, what? What the hell is that rod made of? It's it's half metal and half plastic. I have no idea. But this was, like I said, it's the. Uh, C, what was it, C, C hand or whatever that company's called. Okay. Uh, our four wheel drive sells them. This bumper is sold for 120 Canadian. And it's junk. 120 Canadian? Wow. Yep. An expensive bumper. And I, that's their rear one. Okay. Looks nice. Oh, you froze. Hey, Randy, you froze. You're frozen. I think he did mention CC hand. Let's see if I can't Google that. The bumper is nice, though. I'm getting a good look at it. Yeah, CC Hand is available at uh, RC Mart, Asia Tees, RC Four Wheel Drive. Tire holders. There's a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm trying to find that front bumper he's got. Way too many stuff. The bumper police got him. Well, somebody got him. 
I think it's because he started talking trash about a company and then YouTube just like frozen. <laughs> trash. So, yes, Luis, how are you doing? Hey, Luis. How you doing? Oh, shit. Yeah, it told me it might be aluminum, but what I find weird is he's holding the rod, but he's putting in the, the magnet, and it was actually sticking to it. But then as he got to the edge where it was broken, it wasn't actually sticking. So I don't know if it was it was fully uh, metal. Maybe it is a metal and uh, aluminum composite bumper. I don't know. <coughs> Lewis is having internet issues. Oh, with this stream, is this stream okay to you guys, to everybody here? Yeah, the stream's good. It's just, uh, if Lewis has the same problem I have in Jersey, we're having really high winds right now. Okay. So it looks like you got a new trailer there, Axo Max. I did. I got the uh, the semi trailer finally came in. Um, I was really good. I went away for a few days, of course. Uh, so I started working on it tonight, and. Uh, yeah, I'll bring you along with the build. I'll post each day as I get a little bit together each day. Cool. And we have Troy that just joined in. Good day, Troy. Hey, Troy. Hi, Troy. Axio. Oh, so shrimp a lot. Bumper yeah, police. Fine. Bumper police got you. They stopped uh, your stream live, and you were yep. dishing, dishing somebody's bumper, so they yep. decided to. Mercy four wheel drive didn't like that, so I got kicked. Yeah. I'm gonna make another one. The, bump, the front bumper is actually belong to um, Paul Savage from Tried True Hobbies. It's on his truck. Okay. It wasn't on yours. Huh? It was not on yours. No, he's actually borrowing my SSD bumper right now. Because I'm looking at here at the CC Hand website. Yeah. <laughs> I have not been happy with any of their products. Never heard of them. It's the first I hear of them. So, guys, be careful if you shop for CCN. Looks like there might be some issues. Keep an eye out and let us know if uh, you guys come out with any other issues. But how's the rear bumper holding out for you? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in on one of the Bronco boards, and yeah. a lot of people that have bought them, they literally fall apart. Where the back posts are welded up to, it's like a little spot weld. You bounce off a couple rocks, and it falls off. That looks like a bumper you got, but that's written rear bumper. Now you have to look at look for the bumpers for the um, TRX. The search. I mean, I have the sliders from them, and I have to weld my sliders. Okay. Because they're just falling apart. Did you use JB weld or plastic weld or something like that? Oh, you used real metal. Yeah. Apparently, that's not what your one was made of then. But. The melon metal that's in their product, a magnet doesn't even want to stick to it. It's ridiculous. Was right. it uh, like those 3D printed parts that are metal that you yeah. can get from Shapeways? Yeah. Because I was wondering if that stuff that's metal that they 3D print, if it just has like iron filings in it or something. Well, even if it had filings, at least a magnet would stick to that. Yeah. Like I said, especially for the price of their of their products, definitely not happy with it. Hmm. Sorry to hear that, dude. Paul wants me to make him a new front bumper. I mean, the guy owns owns his own hobby store. 
And he's like, I'd rather have a bumper made by you because I'm tired of things falling apart. Yeah, fill it up. Fill it up. Big tire. Troy, you got your Marlin close by? I have. Yes. What does the front bumper look like? Looks like there's a bunch of different ones, but the stock one, what does it look like? Oh, sorry. Let me present to you. Is that the stock one? That's the stock one. Yep, and it's metal. Yeah, but even even the the RC four wheel drive ones, they're not the best bumpers out there. Yep. Right. But they're metal. But they're metal. Yeah. Okay. I've stuck magnets to that several times. Don't bad uh, don't bad mouth RC four wheel drive with me around. <laughs> hey, for the most part, I'm happy with RC four wheel drive. I'm yeah. about to be sponsored. I think so. Uh... Good for you. Oh, way to go. So. Yeah, Chris told me because I told him I wanted a new front bumper for my TF2. He says, Get the Marlin, it's cheap and it's a pretty good one. That's my bumper right there, the one you're looking at. So that looks pretty good. Yeah, there you go. There's the price of one, it's, it's 30 bucks for that bumper. You find the other one from Sea Hand, and it's like 80 bucks on their site. <laughs> That's like a hundred Canadian. Yeah. So I mean, considering it's, it's like an eighty dollar bumper, I would kind of expect it, you know, last longer than like half a trail run. Yeah. yeah I think, I'm put, I think I'm gonna put an order for that. Well, both like uh, Extreme RC and Tried and True Hobbies won't be ordering any more of their products. I know. So, you know just, they're not gonna bother with it. Once a couple customers have them fall apart. Hmm. Zach, this is my first time on with you with uh, you being on live, so happy to meet you. Happy to meet you too. Well, Starcop, thanks for jumping in. Looks like he's got to get up at 6.15. So see you later, Starcop. Yeah, that's early. Billy Biden says, I wonder if they use G G uh, GB Weld. Put the aluminum. Oh, Jack's on the move. Where are you going now, Jack? Hi. Right. Oh, Jack. Am I still muted? No. Hey, Troy. Hey, Jack. Now you're muted. You're making too much noise, so I muted you, Jack. But now you're talking. <laughs> Once you get to where you are, so it doesn't make noise, and a little bit annoying. I might do the same thing with Steve O.D. with a spray can also. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, he's using his toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Is that a denture brush or just a normal brush? Just a normal one. Trying to get these tires clean. Why? What'd you get them dirty for? Oh, it's playing playing in the snow and the mud. Hey, Jack. Honey, Lulu is saying, "How are you, Jack?" You can unmute your mic once you get where you're going. Sorry about that. So, Zach, where are you at? I am in Quebec, Canada. Right on. Another Canadian. Yeah, Zach's channel is actually Laurentian RC Studio, I believe. That's it. Okay, I've looked at some of your stuff. I will sub now that I know who you are. All right. That's yeah, me. In the chat, he's the top top chat, the very first chat that was here. In here. Yeah, I had been waiting for about 10 minutes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I decided to put a chat, get it going. Ooh. What's your favorite rig? Oh man, that would be a tough decision between my uh, 46 Power Wagon and my uh, Trail Finder 2. What's underneath your 46 Power Wagon? Uh, I, yeah, I think my first is going to be the Power Wagon, and right after that's my Trail Finder 2. Those are my two favorites. What, what frame is under your Power Wagon? Oh, my frame. Oh, the frame is custom. It's all built uh, by me. Cool. And all 
Holy yeah, I actually just got an order for one for my guy in New York. He's building a truck, so I'm going to get him a chassis made. Cool. Green Frog, I did send you an email. Welcome in the chat. Hey, Keegan. Keegan. I like uh, Keegan's uh, new intro with the frog talking. Hey, you're Green Frog here. So that was kind of good. Jack did a good job on that. That yeah, was pretty good. We even got a frog that looked kind of like him. What tires are they, Steve? Are they the uh, Rustler 4x4? Yeah, because I'm doing the comparison video with a big rock in the Rustler. The Rustler was tires were dirty. <laughs> the trick is to run them in water after you're finished playing with them. I, I did run them through water. Oh, yeah. was, stuff was caked on there. Look at your armor all. Tire protection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it was some simple green. Your own life, simple. RC. Got a new sub. Cool. That cruiser. I say thank you. That cruiser says he won't be able to join in, so, but he's in the chat. I was talking to my brother about racing on Sunday or Saturday nights with Net Cruiser RC, and we might start that soon. So we'll see. I go see him on the on the weekend. Just got to find out when's the race again. Is it Saturday nights, or I mean Sundays, or is it Saturdays for the race? And when is practice also? I might bring my son to practice, see if he likes it or not. Hey, Drone Life RC, hello. Drone Life, hey, Don. What are you going to race the um, trucks, the TTO2s, or TTO7? Well, I, got old, I got an older uh, t um, what was it? T T802. My brother used to have that vintage glass. So that's this this guy, Corvette, but it wasn't a vintage glass. But this one is all carbon fiber. So it's very light chassis and all that. That's what he used to race. So I might put that one on. That one's actually a pretty good little car. Uh, I do have a TTO2, TTO1. But I believe that's a TAO2. Zach, can you put the name of your YouTube channel in the uh, chat for me, please? So uh, Go try. I'm on Google Hangouts at the moment. That one has two belts to the front and rear. Pretty good. Sweet. The problem with some of the classes. Thank you, Bill. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry if I am not. The what? Which name? Bill Boynton. Boynton? How do I say it? Bo uh, oh, yeah. Boy, Boy Town. Bo Biden. Yeah, Biden. All right, well, thank you for subscribing. All right, I'm going to put my name in. It should show up. Yeah. And uh, where is the other guy that used to be here? There, there's Green Frog just jumped in. Hey, guys. Hey, Keegan. What's up, Keegan? How much stuff should be there. Yeah, the problem with some classes, like I was starting to say, is that uh, they only require like either to run a 17.5 motor or a certain class motor for certain type of vehicles. So it gets very expensive fast if you're trying to run a lot of classes. So, uh, but by staying stock, like a stock class, like uh, that truck, that new truck that he's got, um, that, that's a nice class to actually run. So... Uh, or we might just go there for practice, me and my son, and just have some fun. So we'll see how, how thing goes. I'm not a racer, so I don't go there for race. I just go there for fun. Right. Thank you, Bull Gear, for subscribing. I'm on a roll tonight. That guy just looked, but I, I, I can't sub you. I already am. <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty good. Well, you, you're going to have to unsub and sub. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Drop this guy. How quick can I do that? Yeah. Uh, 
Let's see something. I'm being nice and keeping my mic off because I'm making a lot of noise. Thank you very much. That's very much appreciated. Axiomatic looks like you got your trailer in. I did. Uh, it came in Saturday and it killed me because I had to go away for a few days. Um, but it worked out, I guess, because the light kit didn't come in until Monday. Oh, very nice. So, so uh, I'll put all this together at one time. It did. When are you thinking of building it? I started tonight. So what I did was the uh, one of the first uh, steps is putting the support legs on. I had the motorized support leg kit. So I'll start working on that. You can actually see when I flip the switch, the uh, little motor goes for the support legs. Cool. Very nice. It's got its own little gearbox. Yeah, so there's a little motor in here. It's a, it's a real small motor. It's smaller than a 370. Maybe it's a 370. But it's got some plastic gears. Um, so you're not lifting a ton of weight or anything. And then here's your support legs. Oh, those look nice. Are those machined? Yeah. So then tomorrow, um, I'll try to see how far I can get on it. The weather's terrible, so I'm going to take the x max out, get some running video of the x max and then try to put this trailer together. It did look like you put a cross sticker in the window of your hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> I stopped that whole video, and then I edited everything else, and then, I don't know, a little later that night, I noticed that sticker. So I missed an opportunity on it. I thought it was yours. <laughs> like yeah, just, uh, this is a fire marshal sticker. Oh, it was a fire marshal sticker. Yeah, they, uh, the hotel that I normally stay at, it was completely booked. So I had to stay at a hotel I normally don't stay at. and It was okay, but there were some things that, I don't know, did those pictures not be in center? Totally. Yeah, that was killing me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My OCD kicked in. That's what I said to you on the thing. My OCD's kicking in. I'm glad you fixed it. I wouldn't have been able to sleep. i have been yeah. thinking about them damn pictures. Cool. Uh, Jack, you can unmute your mic now if you want. Looks like you're sitting down. All right, so. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear you? Hey, Jack. How you going? Hey, Mike. How you going, hey, Mike? Hey, Mike? G'day. Hi, G'day, Mike. Mike. G'day. I knew you were saying hi to you a little bit earlier. Okay, say hi. I can't see the chat. So, okay. hi, honey. Lulu. Uh, Randy, you want to show something? Go ahead. Yeah, see, this was what in the bumper. That's all that goes in for holding it. Nice and hollow. Weak as crap. I believe in overkill. Yeah, that, that, that'll hold. Yeah, but that's overkill. That's your bumper? When that's you make a I'm bumper? Yeah, well, I'll drill it so that I can I can adjust it, but it's a, it's just the right size to fit in, so it's nice and tight, and I know it'll never bend, and I can weld right to it. Well, wait, wait, can can I see a, a magnet on that, please? Yeah, come on, let's see the magnet on that. Look, I think he's using glue, Tank. Yeah, you might be using know. glue. There's a little bit of bubble gum hiding somewhere. Yeah. Like, I make my own C channel. You make your own? Yeah. Um, hang on a second. That hoop stock in half or something? I think I have a lot of made. <laughs> wow. Is Honey Lou still in the chat, guys? I don't know if he's still, he's still around. Honey Lou, are you still in the chat? She should be. She said the high green frog a little couple minutes ago. Okay. You guys want to see what I showed her earlier today? The progress on her trailer? Oh, let's see the progress on Honey Lulu's trailer. Now, the trailer is for her, um, her truck, which is the, um, well, pussy wagon. And it's yeah. going to be pulled by the six by six. Yes. I said, okay, here you go. I'll show you something for your trailer. So that's for the trailer. That's for the trailer. That's all I showed her. 
Okay, and you're gonna are you gonna show us the rest and kiss her uh, off? I'll 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 let you guys see that much. Ah, what a tease. Yeah. Well, I don't want honey to see it before it, it's done because she's just gonna get a box and open it up and then I'll get her reaction then. Honey, cover your eyes so we can see the trailer. Yeah, yeah. honey, honey I, I I, I myself already saw it because me and uh, Troy had a private chat a little while ago and he was showing me what he was doing. So it looks pretty good. You weren't supposed to tell her that I showed you that. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm not supposed to say that I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> there's not. You always it's, put your foot in your mouth, Tank. It's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> you always do it, mate. Well, hey, I'm Steve, I. You know Steve, that I. The customer, yeah. right? I, 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 if I, 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 I see you cleaning anymore, that's it. I reckon you'll there'll be a mirror finished by the time you finish, mate. <laughs> these these are separate tires. These are different ones. <laughs> well, I've got to hand it. I've got I've got to hand it to you out in the snow, mate. I've got to hand it to you. I've got to hand <laughs> it. It's snowing. It's cold. It's freezing here. It's thirty degrees. Oh yeah. That's C. Well, we got four feet here in Quebec. Four feet. Yeah. yeah and Quebec, they have lots of snow. They have some ski hills that actually opened up, which is a couple of hours from oh, me. So. Yeah, I went snowboarding last Saturday. Crazy. Hey, Kagan. Hey, Jack. Uh-oh. Honey Lulu says, oh, that's not right with big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of got the same reaction earlier. <laughs> I was so upset I missed the honey dip last night. Yeah, I haven't yeah, watched we were... my latest honey dip video. I haven't. Watched, I wanted to catch it live, but I just ran out of time. So. We were wondering where you were at. I had to hold the show down by myself because JD couldn't hear nothing. Yeah, yeah I, I, I watched that last night, and I kind of feel for JD. Because... Yeah. When I saw the warning, it's like he posted the warning that it's going to go live and, and so on. So I said, okay, I got to watch it. I got to watch it. And then I started watching TV and talking to the wife and all that. And also when I looked at my phone, was live. I go, shit, maybe they're still on. But I looked at the video, but it was it was a pretty short video. And then, no, it just finished. So I just, just missed it. So Yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell, tell us the real truth, Tank. Hey, yeah, it was a half hour long. <laughs> tell no. us the real truth, Mike. Vivo helped the dad. He did a good job. I didn't, I didn't know that she wasn't going to be back on because she dropped out. We were on the thing talking, and she was saying that her minutes, she was going to have to buy more minutes, so she wanted to get on there only when it was live. So she dropped off, and then he gives us the thumbs up saying that it's live. So then we had to try to contact her to get her back on the, sh on the uh, show to do it. But, wow. She linked me the video to watch, but I started uh, working on her trailer. And didn't get to watch her, so I'm gonna watch. I was there. You're, all oh. there. You're everywhere. Yeah, I'm everywhere. I like watching. I get these lazy afternoons. It's snowy now, so I watch everything. Well, I don't think you can be everywhere as much as Steve O.D. is everywhere. Oh, just I was, just about, I was just about to say the same thing. Steve O.D. has a comment on it. I, yeah, I saw a video that I'd never seen before uh, earlier today. And I was like, oh, I don't know who this guy is. And then I scrolled down and I'm like, oh, Steve O.D., Steve O.D. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny is yesterday uh, someone commented to me. It was on one of those uh, To Catch a Predator with the, that guy Chris Hansen. And someone was like on a comment, oh my God, you're here too? I love your <laughs> RC videos. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, ah, the, someone caught me. Yeah, but the, the one I saw was an absolute ripper, mate. The one I saw, oh. you, were asking, you were asking a bigger channel to go and have your videos. <laughs> what one was it? Kevin Talbot. Oh yeah, he did. He did comment <laughs> on the video. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, so yeah, he wants some there. Yeah. <laughs> did he end up? Well, did he end up? He, up there? He, All right. He, uh, up on channel. I bet he didn't. 
Well, yeah, he commented on mine. He used to comment all the time on yeah. mine, but I hadn't seen him in a while. And so that's what I said to him, where you been, dude? And then he's like, I'll check it out. And then he ended up uh, watching the uh, video. Keegan, how's your Merlin coming? Keegan, how's your Merlin coming? I think you just lost him. Hey, Keegan was there. Yeah, he's not there anymore. That's weird. I just heard someone drop out. Yeah, it was Keegan. He's gone. Yeah. So now that he's gone, let me show you something real quick. So uh, I received a, a message from somebody. He says, look at this. Sub to Steve D 313 He's amazing. <laughs> so somebody made this video. Go sub right. to Steve D 303 He needs to get 2,000 sub. So I don't yeah. know why you need to get two thousand sub, but this I, video... that's what I that's what I didn't understand either because the kid I don't know who he is he just he's someone new on my channel because I just started seeing his comments and he was like go to my channel I have something up that I think you'll like so I was like okay I'll check it out and I went over to his channel and I seen this video and I was like needs to get to two thousand subs what and I was like oh you know thanks I didn't know you're gonna do this but uh you know that was cool of you to do so Steve OD that's his response for Steve OD so if you guys want to see it uh Tom's RC S so RC's Tom's RC's go check it out his video actually I'll put a, a link to the in the chat room you guys can go uh, check that and, and do your own comments but I wanted to play a joke on him because I want to see how, how good a fan he is, a Steve O.D. So I did a comment on his um, on on this. So this guy says true. So I did Steve O.D. three one three is a troll. Anyone that subs to him is a tool. <laughs> with a guy with his tongue sticking out. So now read I, the next one. Oh, I didn't know you replied to that. <laughs> Yeah, it says. You're what to say? <laughs> well, You're I'm a tool to me, too, Frank. Then. So you must be a tool too. Yeah. <laughs> the tank RC, whoever subs to you are tools too, to them. Boom. So, this guy has never heard of him, but I did do it as a joke. What the heck? That's Randy. Randy, stop and stop. No, just mute him. I did. I did just mute him. He'll have to unmute himself. Scared the crap out of me. Now that you're back, how's your Marlon doing? Sorry, I hung up instead of unmuted. Uh, same old, same old. Haven't really done anything since I got the bumper on and the side sliders. Okay. When you decide to upgrade your wheels and rims, yeah. let me know. You're stuck. <laughs> right. I redid my inner uh, engine bay lately oh, on yeah. my uh, trail finder too. I made it lower so I can fit a battery and brake booster, wiring, everything a real truck would have in the big V8 from RC4. That'd be, uh, be pretty yeah, good when I'm done. Yeah, it's actually right next to me. I was just working on it. Try and get a good view of it. Well, that's, that's a nice bay. Yeah. Did a good job. You got the wheel fenders in there. Now the only thing you're gonna need is the uh, power steering, not the power steering, the brake, the brake um, master cylinder. Cylinder, yeah, and a couple uh, yeah, yeah. electronics at the back firewall. That's it. I also did the inner fenders uh, behind the wheels, and I added the mud flaps. What did you do? Where did you get the inner fenders, or did you make those yourself? I made them. Right on. Yeah, and I added the uh, little mud flaps in the back four-wheel drive on the front wheels and the back wheels. Oh, nice. Now, those mud flaps, you made them yourself? Yeah, out of a old uh, pit mat that you get from the dollar store for like four bucks. Cool. Oh, that's yeah, funny. they work pretty well. I've seen Yo, them. they act like real mud flaps. You know, they move around when you, when you hit a bump, so I always like the look of them more. Cool. Aren't they actually yoga mats? Yeah, the yoga mat. 
Well, no, it's actually a pit mat. It's labeled a uh, pit mat for garage. So I said, well, oh, you know, okay, good gotcha. work. <laughs> it's thinner than a yoga mat. Like, it must be about two millimeters thick. Pretty good. Inner tube. Pretty, yeah, pretty much. Same thing. Uh, I've done a lot of work on it lately. Uh, hoping to bring it some competitions next year. We'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. I ordered in some new shocks, but thanks to our uh, strike, I haven't seen them yet. Oh, same thing with me. I ordered some stuff, a, a new horn for my police, my stampede, a new uh, police siren, and I haven't received it yet. So I'm waiting for that to come in. Yeah, same here. The strike's taking a toll. I had, got, I had ordered stickers from uh, Bull Gear RC, and they came in really late. Usually it wouldn't take that long, but they came in late. Hmm. Nice though, worth the wait. That's for us, Levi. Get in there, mate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Hey, you like your rigs clean. I know you do. You don't like to go through water and stuff. You like them clean. Get more muddy. I'm going to do it one day. If you do, it's just a pain in the butt to clean them back to nice and shiny, you know? It takes yeah. a while. Why don't you take the power washer to them? Yeah, yeah just blow with a friggin' one of those pressure hoses. Yeah, exactly. I want to make one of those car washes like Aaron did. Oh, the PVC my, piping? Yeah. I drove one of my trucks through a real car wash just because I could. Hey, I've, I've driven a Jeep through a car wash. I actually got a video of it. What do you do? Put it up on a tire track or something? <laughs> so he, he walks through it holding it up over his head so that he gets on. <laughs> hey, wasn't that Money Lulu's trailer? No, no, this is this is the cap for my uh oh. Toyota that I made. I just had to I had to re glue some of the windows. Yeah, I got an idea, Troy. Take the trailer, pass it very quick in front of the camera, and then people can go back and just pause it just to see the trailer. No. <laughs> oh honey Lulu, I tried. Sorry. You got that trailer built yet, uh, Axiomatic? No, nah, not even close. <laughs> Take a little while. But I'm hooking up the, uh, the female receiver onto the rig itself. This way, this cord just plugs in from the trailer. That powers the lights. Now, those are nice chrome stacks for the mufflers. Yeah, they're uh, aluminum at the bottom here. And then the, uh, the tips are plastic, but the bottom are nice and heavy. Cool. Yeah, for me, for the truck, I actually ordered uh, this thing. It's the Animal animal Guard. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And this, this is actually all metal, so which is kind of cool. But my truck looks more like this guy. But it yeah, would look nice on yours. And this is actually all metal, which is really nice. Tamiya really makes some nice stuff. Sometimes they do. Yeah, really cool. absolutely. And they put the price tag on it to match. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's big trailers around. Yeah, the big trailers like Axio has around here, like I think 300 bucks. Yeah, well, that, that's uh... pretty on Amazon. How much on Amazon? Uh, 230 I paid for the trailer. It's a flatbed and it's got a wood deck on it. Uh, so it was about 230 which I thought was a pretty good price. Cool. Oops, sorry, my heater kicked on. Turn that off. 500 bucks here, mate. Ouch. It looks almost like the one I got, the one I got from China. From the other company. Did you have to build it too? I did not 
start my I did not start that build yet. Oh. Let me get But I'm, I'm I'm saying the trailer, do you have to build the trailer too? Yeah, it's a kit. Yeah, oh, it's a kit. It is a kit. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask you, when did you get a, a semi? Who? You. I didn't know uh, they had. I got one. it before last Christmas. I got it last uh, last October, actually, came in. Not this October, last October. So I've had it for 13 months now in, in the back room. And you're gonna, you're, when are you going to build it? You have already built it? I'm waiting to get all the parts for it. So I want to oh. get myself a six channel uh, receiver, the stick one. So I want to get, I want to buy that instead of putting it on my uh, trigger uh, remote. Uh, okay. I probably want to get a small module. So there's some parts still I want to get because uh, I know myself if I build it and then it's just going to sit there and I'm not going to finish it. So I want to get all the parts for it and then build it out once I have all the parts. Right. Tank, you don't you don't build things and then stop halfway through. No, no. If you if you have to wait for the mail service, it's gonna take a while. Well, how's the other truck looking? The one that you're building for your son? Uh, I'm still stuck at the deck, which is right here. This is the one for my son. Uh, I have to paint the body, but this is the deck one, which from last week I did not. Um, I did not do anything else on here. Uh, I was supposed to put the magnet, but I didn't. I was just busy this week, so and over the weekend with him with hockey and all that. So, but I did extend the wheelbase. I got it, um, I think three quarter of an inch longer now. So I'm almost right in the center. I don't know if I want to go any higher, any longer, because right now the wheelbase I used to be at twelve inch, but right now I'm at. Uh, I got to readjust the shocks also. I'm at 12 and 5 eighths. Uh, yeah, 12 and 5 eighths. Yeah. So I extended the links, which w were the one from uh, uh, Asia Tees. So the one you make yourself. So they turned out pretty good from Team Raffi. So it did a good job. Those like tank. Hey? I was looking at those. Uh... And the ones you build yourself, what's the quality like? On those? Oh, they're pretty. They're very good. This is the team uh, team Raffi link, which are about twenty bucks. You get five of them, so we get you the model number. Somebody's making a lot of noise. Randy. Right, Randy. Right, Randy? Making a lot of noise. So, TRC 302353. Uh, 52. Nice. So, this is the do it yourself uh, um, link set, rod end M4. You do get some balls um, and you get the metal uh, insert for it. But the actual, they're M4 and, and plus it's all metal. So. And I believe it's aluminum, not metal. I should have a magnet here somewhere. I have things flying all over the place. I'll do like Randy. I'll put a very tiny metal magnet on it. Yeah, these tubes are actually aluminum. And they're hollow. But the rods are metal. So I got a very tiny magnet, just like Randy does. <laughs> And they don't stick on these because these are actually aluminum, but they're painted black. So very easy to cut. And you get five of them. So I used one. Uh, I used one, and uh, I did uh, two links with one. So you threaded all the way through. Pardon me? Threaded all the way through. That is correct. Nice. That is correct. So the, the, it, it is a uh, M4 threaded rod that you insert into it. I was actually thinking of using this for uh, my trailer, for the axles for the trailer, for good. the trailer that you built for me, but it's not wide enough. So I came up with a different idea. 
which I'm going to work on this weekend. So it should be cool. But that's a pretty good kit, though. For 20 bucks, and you get five of them, which means you can make 10 links. That's that's a pretty good deal. That is nice. What do you uh, what do you think of that new uh, Ford Raptor from that RC Photographic is distributing right now? I haven't read about it much, and I have not had time to look at the, any of the videos out there that I've seen that some people have been posting. So I don't know much about it. I haven't researched anything on it. I, I, I'm, I'm liking it just for its scale. But uh, yes. I, I agree with uh, Scale Builders Guild there, Matt, because uh, the wheels need to be bigger on it. Mm -hmm. um, then I saw another video where the guy just, because um, it says hero on the grill and the tailgate. But you could go in with uh, needle, needle nose, and you can just or uh, tweezers, and you can grab the letter and pull it off because it's just stuck in with the little holes. Okay. So you can get rid of the whole hero thing easy. And then three uh, a Raptor one and put it in there. One to one trucks they have the same kind of grill aftermarket for Fords that you can replace the because they're from China. That way they don't have to worry about the patents. You just buy the FNO separate, they just mail them separately. Cool. And uh, my son's truck has the same body as uh, what uh, Green Kagan has right now. So he's got his in blue. So mine's going to be red. So did a good job on the paint job. Thanks. Pull the cuts out for you. Did you paint the bolt on too? Yeah, there's the bullhorn. Very cool. Cool. Where'd you get those from? Uh, they come in like SEX 10 kits. Okay. Race, I think maybe. Cool. Usually on top of one of the parts trees. I, I find it weird that the guys with 3D printer hasn't done a lot of those. You know, like a skull. You have a skull of a of a of your bull, but you have the skull with it. Not just a horn, but the skull. And actually just put that scale right on the hood. That would look so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see Definitely. more of that next week. You just watch. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Not a lot of people watches this show, but it's it it, it would be a, a a good idea. I, I talked to that about Chris at GCM Racing. I told him it'd be cool to find that and scale and go. And he goes, "Yes, it would. Yes, it would." But nobody actually went and printed it. To, I just find that odd. Well. The thing that I think would be bad about that is because all the uh, support trims that you'd have to pull out of the skull in order for it to look good. Um, a buddy of mine printed a, a skull for his intake fan on his 3D printer, and he just gave up on it. And he just said, here, Troy, you do it. And I, I sat there for almost an hour just picking all the support screws out from the, that, that skull so you could see it. Okay. He ended up not using it because it restricted too much air hmm. there must be a way to print it without or doing it differently printing it maybe standing up um, those those printers that pull the pull your print out of a vat yeah or instead of printing it like laying down with the mouth like this you print it going up like that, you don't need support for the mouth. The mouth stays open, and then it just prints everything. So and most skulls on hoods don't have the lower jaw. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Your lower jaw usually falls off. Good night, honey, Lulu. We'll see you later. Hopefully, you're still there for us to tell you good night. Okay, guys. Now I will show you that trailer. <laughs> I'm okay, honey, Lulu. True. I'm kidding, honey. I wouldn't do that to you. But he will show us once we go off air. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Time. actually, guys, I'm going to have to go. I'm getting 
tired. Cool. Yeah, it's uh, an hour later where you are. Thanks for jumping in. All and right, just so you know, I did not see the trailer anyways. I was joking earlier, just so I don't make uh, Troy in trouble. Wink, yeah. wink. I did not see it. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Troy. Yeah. Hi, Troy. By Keegan's yeah. figure there. Nice right. Later, Troy. So, what are you working on the rig for? What are you trying to put the, the harness, the cable harness for the trailer? Oh, axiomatics. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. This is the. Uh, I can get a good shot of this. This is the input for the trailer. It uh, screws onto the rig itself. So cool. I have nice video cable. Yeah, and then the uh, cable here plugs in and runs back to your lights. That's a good idea using an S video cable because you got a lot of uh, different uh, cables on there. Yeah, this is expandable too from what I'm seeing, so I'll have to do some research, but might be able to light this thing up like a Christmas tree. Yeah. That's one thing I got to look on my kit also to see, like, I, I might need some light kits. I don't think uh, any electronics light kits came in the kit, so I'm going to have to look for all that. Yeah, so I've just been uh, muting the mic every time I put the drill out and things. I'm just trying to mute yeah. it. So. Cool. Thank you. And Randy, you're working on your TRX-4. You always seem to be working on that. Is it because they break a lot? No, because I'm I'm finished with the other one. Hang on. Um, You're finished with the other one. Well, I got the the TF2 is finished. The Jeep is finished. They don't need work. Okay. Yeah, but you seem to be working on that one more often than you are on the TF2. Well, I said I have three bumpers to do, and okay. one for myself as well. So. And you're using that one as a mock-up. They all have Bronco bodies, your buddies? Yeah. Okay. But everybody wants a different bumper. I'm just trying to come up with one that'll be very strong. Uh, I'm also going to do a full grill protector on this one. It's going to come around the edge, split up here. Once the winch is on, it will have a bit of a stinger, the more to protect it from getting hit, and two braces coming back. Cool. Basically, when done, when I hit the rock, the rock will move. Cool. Depending on the side of the rock, that is. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Small rock, two cell. Big rock, three cell. Really, really big rock, four cell. Now, I wonder how long it's going to take for somebody to put a Nate S into a, a crawler, just like they do in the X-Max. Kevin Talbot, probably. Well, supposedly, my, supposedly my Yeti is going to be able to take a uh, 6S. So uh, hopefully I'll see that soon. I saw see some picture of it. Um, Dave is putting it together, putting the electronics and cleaning it up. I saw the chassis and all that. I go, man, that thing is looks dirty. He goes, don't worry. It's going to look new by the time you get it. So he's cleaning it up. Yeah, I got the harness on. A little uh, difficult. The screws are really small, and my fingers are a little big, but I finally got it all kind of hooked up. So now I get a chance to test it out, see if it works. Cool. Turn that baby on and see if it works. Gotta find a battery. <laughs> oh. There we go. Got a little venom. Live testing. Here comes the smoke, the puff of smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Hope not. You know, you know the smoke is very hard to put back in once it comes out. <laughs> True that.
I'll have to figure out how to turn the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder if you programmed the button. Uh, the remote control you got right now is a DX6? Yeah, DX6. Um, I have it set up with dual rates. So you flip the switch and it gives you more functionality for the rate. Cool. So um, I'm still going to use everything. There's so many controls. I did a demo, but that took a lot of editing because I just I forget what was what. Yeah, that's a lot of buttons to memorize. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's like you need to uh, print a little thing, little stickers telling you what does what. Yeah, they do have a. Uh, yeah, yeah, for this, you're right. Actually, it's beeping right now because the rig is off, but the lights are on. So it's reminding me that the lights are on. Wow. Uh, but yeah, no, the set lights are working. So we're good there. If you turn right, turn your steering right or left, it should turn on. The blinker should turn on. Sorry, it's pretty loud. Okay. But it looks like it's working for, uh, for what I need, so I can go ahead and start getting the trailer together. Cool. What happens is when you build the screen, one of the first steps, that's why I was kind of waiting for this. So I can feed this the whole length of the trailer, and then the way the braces are made, they're cut out so this wire can be kind of hidden up underneath. But if I would put the whole thing together without this, I'd have to take it all apart, which would be a real pain. Okay. I'm kind of glad I waited. I got something to do this weekend. It's supposed to be bad weather. So. Yeah. And then we got the uh, comical grasshoppers in. So yes, you go do comical build. Yeah, it should be in uh, tomorrow. So. You made me nervous when you got that uh, armor. I thought you were backing out of the Leah build. Uh-uh, no way. They gave it to me for freaking... 285 out the door, so I couldn't say no. That's a great price. It's listed everywhere at 319.99 plus tax. So, and then the comical grasshopper they gave me for 155 out the door. Better, I got it for 200, so you did better than me. Cool. They're always uh, at least like twenty dollars cheaper than what you find online. I don't know how they do make any money, but they uh, seem to stay afloat. I guess it's tough if you're a brick and mortar. You're trying to do whatever you can to get customers in. Yeah. Is there a back plate for that uh, cab? There is, yep. Okay. So the uh, back some plate on our seats. comes on here and then it's locks itself. Locks itself cool. itself. Oh, Keegan. Keegan, yes. you there? Yeah, I'm here. I got... I got your box. I didn't open it yet because I'm waiting to do a video tonight after this. <laughs> cool. cool. So, Glad I got thank there. you for that. Yeah, you'll no see the video. You'll see the video. I don't even know what's in it yet. I was waiting to open it up when What'd I was recording. What did you send them? To surprise Stuff and things. <laughs> Stuff and things. Mystery box with a, a tick. It's ticking, though. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> nervous. <laughs> the box, too. It's got a tracking device and a camera in it. I think there's a frog in there too because I keep hearing something <laughs> bounce around and rib it. Yep. <laughs> That's my uh, driver. Yeah. Do you keep them in a? Do you keep them in a, uh, a tank? <laughs> in my pond. Um. Just he meets you when you say, "Hey, it's time to record a video." <laughs> Oh, the rocks he, we need. he just hops up in the uh, dead bolt and says, "Let's <laughs> yeah. do it." <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Hunts a horn, I come out. <laughs> still spraying some simple green on those tires. Oh, uh, because this one wasn't as shiny because I hit it with the <laughs> diluted. Now I got a hundred percent no no diluted. So it's now it's the strong stuff. 
I seen on one of the racing uh, channels the guy said, uh, or actually it was Proline. Uh, Proline, they sh- they're, they've been showing their uh, like six tires at a time. They're yep. doing videos, and they said that uh, use the simple green, but do not dilute it. So I'm trying it out, see if it works. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different people that actually did that for racing and actually tested some uh, racing compound tire cleaners and a whole bunch of different ones. And actually, Simple Green was the one favorite of every everybody. So everybody really liked the Simple Green. So instead of sp- spending extra money for nothing, just buy some s- Simple Green. Yeah, yeah, I did it on my uh, race car at work. I usually <laughs> spray it on the bodies, but uh, that that's diluted on the bodies. So I don't know if I... I if I should spray this uh, this non diluted stuff on the bodies or not, start melting I, it or something. Well, I did it. It didn't do anything. I have the uh, concentrate uh, in my shop. I use it all the time. It works perfect. Does the concentrate got the dilution in it, though? Uh, I don't think so. Let me just check. I got the bottle right here. I'm going to need some, though. I'm like at the bottom of the bottle. Uh, not 100%. Heavy duty. Uh, I need to buy some. Yeah, I got one of those big, uh, those big gallon, uh, jugs of it. And then you just refill the sprayer that it comes with. I think it was only like Uh, 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, I got to get that. I I saw some here at the uh, hardware store. I'll probably pick up a couple and put them aside. I got my winter cleaning, uh, regimen coming. Yeah. Every car in a collection gets a clean that works. Hey, Tybo, welcome in. Nice channel to watch, guys. If uh, you go in the chat, go see Tybo's um, uh, RC channel. Nice guy. Oh, How do you write that? Are you talking about Omar? Tybo? Yep. Yeah, Omar just built that red subby. That thing is sweet. Yeah, dude, I was gonna ask you that, Axe. If you seen the uh, his Subaru, what yeah, you did with that? Yeah, racing. The the red with the uh, with the like, yellow stickers. It looks amazing. Yeah, I was doing red and black, but I'm I'm gonna uh, try that uh, technique with the uh, grocery bag. Did you ever see that grocery bag technique where you take a grocery bag, dip it in the paint, and then you. Uh, you like you dab the um, body and then you back it in like black and it gives it like a marble effect. Hmm, I've never seen that. Yeah, I'm gonna try that out for this paint job. But no, all those aluminum parts, the yeah racing kit, man. That I think if I build another one, I have to get that yeah racing kit because that thing looks badass. So it looks like. T- uh, Tybo is mad at me because I'm calling him Tybo and not Tebow. Yeah, Tebow. Because just... he says, Francois, for fuck's sakes, you are a French Canadian. It's Ty- uh, Tebow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. No, I, did not swear. I did not swear. I was just reading what was written. So just. <laughs> he gave me a lecture on how to pronounce uh, Tamia. 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 Tamaya, Tamia, Tamaya. Tamaya. I can't get it right. I say Tamaya. Some people say Tamia. Some say, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I know I you're not Tamia. mad. Oh, I know. I know you're not mad. He says I'm not mad. I'm uh, ri- uh, ribbing you. Yeah. Ribbing you. With a little guy that goes like this with a wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I what's your name of this channel? Tamia. I've been working on this. Uh, his channel is T H E I B A U L T. Great channel. Yeah, he's been, I've been following him for years and he's been following me for years also. So, been there for a long time. He says, Axe got it. So I don't know what you said or how you pronounce it or what, what you got, but you got it. Axiomatic. You, you got it. Man. You the man. You got it. Tamia. Tamia. Got it. Tamia. 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 I'm friends, 
We won't tell you. <laughs> Would the channel name be Tybo RC? Tebo. Yeah. Tebo. Tebo. Oh, sorry. Tom <laughs> it's that, right? It's got a slash four by four as its emblem. Um no, it's got uh it's got his uh channel sticker. Um it's like blue, yellow, yeah. and RC. red or something. Here, I'll post it here in the chat of this. You should be able to see the chat of this video. So something might have popped up. All right, I think of it. So that's my street. There you go, Gab. All cleaned up. Man, He's no, got there's... A... He's got a hornet. He's got a super hornet there uh, on his on top of his YouTube channel. All right, I'm just and reloading the page because I had the page open to upload a video for tomorrow, and I'm just checking out and getting it back up. And this latest video is the EXE Barrage Gen 2 Sunset Climb. Oh, yeah, all right, I can see his emblem now. All right, I think I got that. There's one thing, there's one gripe I do have about this new big rock is the um, hexes. They're 14 millimeter hexes instead of 12. Which is good. So I think, wouldn't it be, isn't it harder to find 14 millimeter uh, wheels? Yes, especially when you're starting to run more power into them, yes. Hey, good morning, RC Hunter. Good morning for you, and it's good evening for us. Hey, Heath. RC Hunter. All right, Tebow, I am subscribed. Well, cool. RC right, Hunter is from uh, the, um, Australia, so if you guys want to check him out also. It's kind of cool. RC Hunter? I thought he was in the UK. Heath. I think he's in Australia. Are you in Australia here? Let's go to the channel and find out. You might be right. I think he is. Saxon throws me off. Yeah, United Kingdom. So Tybo, uh, Tebow says, Steve-O, love the first run video. Oh, thank you. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I got to watch that, Steve. I'm a little behind on my videos. Zach, can you ch uh, type in the um, in the comment? He wants to Tebow wants to know what your channel is. Certainly, I'll go get it back up. Oh, CCXRC just says, "Huh? He's yeah. alive. He's still there." Tebow put Tommy Ug, or maybe it should be a uh, U H. Yeah. Tommy Ug. See, R.C. Hunter says he's from England. I always get confused with the accent, like an English accent and an Australian accent. I don't know if it's because I'm French or whatever, or just stupid. I don't know. Someone an accent. Uh, I find that their accent are, are close. So. Nah, I'm not close with the Tommy accent. <laughs> Jack's back. Jack, I'm, having, I'm having trouble with Wi-Fi. Sorry. Oh. So what do you, what what were you saying, Tank? That the Australian accent is close to what accent? To me. Uh, to the to, UK. Uh, to UK. To England. To English people. No, I'm sorry, but I disagree. Well, <laughs> sorry, mate. You, yeah. you might, and your accent is different if you're talking. But when some people are talking and explaining stuff to me, some it's it's hard for me. I'm saying me to actually understand where you guys are coming from. I know you're you're not coming from Canada or, or but you are overseas, so uh, Thibaut says Ozzy says snowy and Brit says snow. <laughs> oh Zama in the chat is he? Yeah, yep he is um, I yeah. see the chat. Now, if you want someone who's got a whole heap of 
Tamea stuff or even other RCs that have been waiting to be built, it's him. He's got shelves full. Oh, yeah? Yep. That he's had, I think he mentioned in one of his videos, but I did see his shelf the other night when he did a video, and uh, he's got boxes there that he needs to uh, build. So Thibaut says, evening, Jackie boy. Jackie boy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You've been branded. That's, a, that's something Steve, I would say, Jackie boy. Jackie boy. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call you now, Jackie boy. Uh, thanks. Well, uh, you soon you'll be, be calling me Mick Dundee, mate. It's a big knife. <laughs> you'll be calling me, you'll be calling me Mick Dundee, mate. Crocodile Dundee. When you see what uh, Saddle's up to. RC Hunter oh. says. RC Hunter says, if I sound like that Aussie dude, I shoot Ma Sen. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> is he bagging me? Is he? Oh, well, you're not going to get a sub. You're not getting a sub from me, mate. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Thibaut Laurentian RC, which is uh, Zach, he just uh, commented on the on the stream. So that's this guy. Thibaut says he's had a few drinks tonight. Just a few? Yeah, I tell you about it, mate. I stopped making noise for a while. Oh, yeah, that's nice of you. Oh, one thing I forgot to say at the beginning, guys. Uh, try to keep the comment with no racial uh, slurs or try not to bash anybody or say any bad words, please. Try to keep it clean in the chat room and on the video. So, well, who's being racial? Well, yeah, no, well, we do. Week. No, no, it's, it's last week. There's somebody that posted a comment that I, I deleted right away. So, because I didn't like it, because he was calling somebody else names. So, I just deleted well, it. Well, didn't, didn't I see Hunter just have a go at my accent? <laughs> <laughs> Put him in timeout. Put him in well, timeout. <laughs> so, the Taibo, Taibo says, uh, said a uh, fuck sakes earlier, but not really talking bad about anybody, but. Told me to get it right. What? What did he say? Oh, it's because I was saying I was calling him Tybo, and it's not Tybo. Uh, Tybo. Yeah. yeah. So he actually said, "Francois, for fuck's sakes, you are French Canadian. <laughs> it's Tybo." Lol. Yeah. I think he's had a few drinks. <laughs> well, I'll have to go back on the video and beep a whole bunch of different places there. No, it's not that bad. People say word things in that. Yeah, I think he's had a couple. He's on the he's on the turps tonight, mate. Uh, hi, bros, guys. I don't think any of you guys know that I'm a Afghan. I do. I'm not racist and totally against it. Cool. Yes, I I know he is. He's what? Uh, his origins from Afghan. His origin is from Afghanistan. Really? Gotcha. Yes. Huh. Yeah, it's he, like white boy. I he's a top. It, regardless, mate, what nationality? He's a top bloke. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's a top bloke. Don't worry about that. Especially because he sports both my channels. And always has. <laughs> oh, especially. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, well, he does. He loves my guitar, mate. I mean, he puts. Uh, now, sometimes I, I'll upload, and he's sometimes one of the first on there, and uh, he puts fantastic comments, and he goes, what a way to wake up, you know? He's a good bloke, mate. Cool. So he says, Jack, you know me pretty well. Oh, I know him, yes, I do. I do. Says, I think all you guys are top people. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. No, he's a... Put on a little makeup. He's a, he's a good... He's a good uh, Good friend. Yeah. Uh, RC Hunter says, back to RC, the FTX Creighton is awesome. So F who FTX? Here? Yeah, FTX, FTX Creighton. What's the difference? FTX Canyon? Isn't, it, isn't FTX a different brand? Yeah, Creighton, I know, the only Creighton I know is Arma. 
Yeah, I'm a, I thought no, it's he, TX. He wrote Canyon, FTX Canyon. I don't know. He wrote uh, the FTX can. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Ugh, it's me. It's your fault, Pank. Yeah, I'm reading wrong. Sorry, and it's it's my head translating wrong. Like <laughs> Tybo, Tebo. No, I'm just kidding. The uh, FTX Canyon, which he did a couple videos and a running video and an unboxing, and it looked very different. It looked kind of cool. Uh, the chassis, the way the shocks are, are like this though. I found it was more like a comp crawler. The way the shocks were set up. Who uh, did the unboxing? Uh, RC Hunter. Oh, um, I'll check it. Out. On two of his last video, uh, he had a running video, and just before that, he had the unboxing. So uh, he had a friend helping him. So uh, oh, it, it looked pretty good. Check that. Uh, what I liked about the body is that it 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 looked flatter, and it looked wider, and it looked flatter. So it, it looked a little bit more scale in some of the trucks. Yeah. Not long, so it looked kind of cool. Hey, Oh, I'm on the thing, the last thing. What's going on? Sure uh, uh, so let me see if I can't show you guys. Uh, share. Mm. So that's the truck. So what I liked about this one is the way it looked. It looked uh, a little different than the um, uh, TRX4, which meant it, it looked to me more scale because it looked flatter. It looks like a white body on it, so it looked kind of cool. I don't know if I can get a... What, what are they worth? I don't know what they're worth. They're not available here, but I think it's just in uh, where he is. Is he from the UK? Yeah. Yeah, the UK seem to hold a lot of the FTX stuff. So there, there's a truck. There's the way the, the chassis is made and the links and the shops. Really it looks like, a, like a, the same width as a um, as a wraith. It's got white axles. Mm. Ask him what it's worth. Oh, he'll well, be in. Uh, he'll be in pounds. I think you just did by just talking. I'm sure you're going to put it in the, in the chat there. So. Come, it comes with a light kit and everything, so that was kind of surprising. I like the lights on the front. Yeah. Double, double spotties, are they? Yeah. And plus, it's got a light bar on top. That's cool. I wonder if we got him here. 159, he said. That's pounds, though, I think. Yeah. He's got a weird E, backward E it's, there. This is going to be. Uh, maybe 400 here. Well, around about 400. Uh, it looked like an, an okay truck, and then uh, he's got a running video of them here. No, oh, got the all effects going on there. Yeah, and plus he's got this guy premiering his truck. He's got the music going. He's got onboard cam. There's two of them. So let's go down to this one. What size matters they got in them? I have no idea. It must be a 540. So is this, this is just came out, is it? I don't know if it just came out. I think it did. Oh, it looks like Paul got one too, probably. That's probably who's with him. <coughs> I think you got FTX, uh, Jack. I think I remember you looking at some FTX at your uh, hobby shop that one day. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was that one, though. 
<coughs> no, that that one wasn't there, but uh, I know the brand. You had that brand yeah. there, so yeah. But he, he, that that hobby shop, he's a ripoff, mate. He's he's you know, he's a complete ripoff. Uh, ridiculous prices, mate. Yeah, it's got a five forty sixty T motor in there. Sixty. Yeah, that's 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 pretty that's, high. <laughs> that's pretty high for motor, yeah. It yeah. Must not be very fast. It must be a. Uh, very strong though. The torque on it, but I, I mean, in my SCX10, I've got a 20 turn. Yeah, and he says, yep, it uh, new just out. Oh, so it's just come out, so it would, probably wouldn't be here yet. I know there was a Toronto company that brought a whole bunch of trucks. I got to look if it was XTX. I can't remember which one it was. Well, yeah. FTX is the same as uh, RGT. Yes, HSP. Uh, they're, all, they're all out of the same place. They're just different branded. Some of the components are a bit different because I've got the RGT Jeep, and that's like the FTX Outback. Right. I had the RGT, the and it was like the FTX Outback. Yeah, because those those axles on there look pretty neat. Like they were square. They look they look strong. They look uh, different, which I liked. Yeah, they got to be strong with that sixty turn motor. Yeah. Sixty turn though. It's unusual why they put a motor like that. Depends on the gearing. Yeah, the gearing. Huh? Gearing of the transmission. Hmm. Did he have to? Um, because usually these RGTs and FTX and HSB crawlers and that, did the uh, RC Hunter pull the axles apart and fill it up with grease? Because they're bone dry. That's all mine them. were too. Yeah, I they're bone dry. I did not ask, but I'm sure he's going to reply in the comments. Where did he, he get said, it at? Uh, Gearbus, maybe? I don't know where he got it. But he says uh, that it's it says on the box one tenth, but to him it's more like a one eighth truck. It's a big truck. No, oh, it's a bigger truck. See the RGT I had said one tenth, but it was more like a twelfth scale. Yeah. Right. Is that the same one as mine, Steve? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, the, the yellow one you had, I had the the grey one. Oh yeah, I got the grey looking thing. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. But you can you can get the other colors like you can get the FTX body shells and it'll fit obviously on that on that chassis. Yeah, because the one I landed on in that Rustler video, I landed on my buddies. That used to be mine, and uh, he wants the Bronco. You can get the Bronco body from the yes. FTX Outback yes. Two. Yep. And uh, so that's why I told him we need to put the Bronco body on it, and I'll let that one's destroyed. Oh. Okay, who's who's doing the bell? I don't know. I heard a bell. A bunch of bells. RC Hunter says it was a sponsored truck. Ah, uh, I'll give it to him. Yeah, and he says no, all fine. So I guess he did not open the the gears and the diffs and all that. But all right. it looks like they're all fine. So I don't know. Unless he opened it and said, yes, they're all fine. So, yeah, it was nah, but a I've got, got the sawback is the same thing. The sawback's RGT, and that's, that's nothing in it at all. Dry you, as. Might be, you might be able to find him at Gearbest then, because I think that's who who uh, he he always mentions which in one, his videos. Which one from? Gearbest, Banggood? Yeah, Gearbest. Gearbest, I believe. Yeah. See what they are Canadian tank is the same as Australian. Oh, he said he did open them. Looks like they were all fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like it. I'll have to have all these running videos and that. I'll be right back. Even though, he doesn't, even though he doesn't like my accent, but I'll still go on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> It's a thing between Aussies and the and the Pommies. It's a bit of rivalry, <laughs> especially in the cricket. He'd know that. In cricket, yeah. Yeah, he'd know that. I'm not into sports anyway, so 
So he says models model sport UK yep. a local hobby shop supports him. Supports me. Yeah, yeah. Sponsors. Sorry. Yeah. Isn't Australia a former colony of British? Yep. We're still ruled by the British. Right. We're still under the monarchy. Right. So is Tank. Yeah. Right. Commonwealth, sorry. Yep, yep, yep. So is Canada. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, One day we'll be independent, mate. Right. <laughs> Kagan knows a lot about Australia. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> we'll be independent and then we can go back to Imperial in two inches. Not. Yeah. Then you guys can get a president like Donald Trump, right? Yeah. <laughs> a puppet. <laughs> it's just a puppet, mate. Uh, tank for 2020. <laughs> there, there's something that we have a prime minister here for Ontario, and he's doing some very weird things lately. So he's going to piss off a lot of people. Yeah, but he's been told what to do. They all do. They've all been told what to do. Oh, I'm not sure. This yeah, this minister is almost like Trump. Told to do. They all get told. Oh, no. This guy, he, he's screwing up on his own. Oh, yeah. Ford. <laughs> uh, his name is Ford, and he's, he's special. He's just like Trump, I think. <laughs> well, if you look at Trump, Trump was... Uh, um, there's a law that you can't become president if you become bankrupt, but he did. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's, let's cut times. that right there, and let's keep talking about our seas. No more politics. Did you, you find out how much... Stuff? Did you find out how much it was worth that, that, that in Canadian? Yeah. Can you have a look, Tank? What, 159 pounds? Yeah, but if you go on... If you go on Banggood or some or somewhere where they have it on there, I can look it up. Because uh... he got it from his uh, local model sports uh, UK hobby shop, which I know about. Because I got a, I was sent a body from there once, body shell. So that was how many pounds again? One fifty nine. Probably about, I don't know, 400 bucks. 375. Uh, Canadian dollar, 267. 267? Yep. I thought it'd be a lot more than that. Uh, 159 pounds sterling is 257, 267, 58 Canadian. Pound just dropped a bunch of Brexit. Let's check how much it is US dollar. US dollar. <coughs> You're saying two thirty? Probably. Where the heck is the United States? Right below the tank. Do, 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 do. I'll see if I can find it online somewhere. Two, two or three. Two or three US. Oh, nice. Could be your next uh, the review, Steve. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the most toys wins, right, Jack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong there, mate. <laughs> but FTX, there's a lot of FTX come out of the UK, though. Because I know I've got a couple of subscribers that are, oh, yeah? are Basildon, um, Derek, Holly Hill. Uh, they've got yeah. all the FTX. Stuff. Mm -hmm. That's funny, but, Andy. Uh, RC Hunter says at least Jack drives on the correct side. Yes. Of the road. Yeah, I'll give you that, RC Hunter. We're on the right side of the road, brother. <laughs> Not like <laughs> he, a he does, I we're thought you were right my side. bestie. I thought you were my bestie. Come on now. And then Randy, we're, on, we're, we're on the right side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Randy says, Randy, Sir, uh, Sir Shrimp Lot says, uh, I drive on both sides of the road. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. not good. It's not between the ditches. No. Oh what, you can't help it. What's Crocodile Dundee say? Get on the right side of the road, you doby. <laughs> 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 I'm have to put that for our back, Jack. Yeah. 
All right, guys, I'm going to have to cut it here. I got somewhere to be tomorrow pretty early, so I'm going to cut it off here and go get some rest. Cool. Right, yeah, Zach. I'll be back next week. Oh, thanks for dropping by. See you then. Is Zach here? Is Zach medic here? Yeah, yeah he is. Yep. Mate, you're it's awfully cool. quiet today, mate. I'm listening. Listen to... Uh... Hey, last, last week, absolutely on fire, mate, but uh, a bit, bit, bit quieter this week, huh? He's got a knife out this week. Very good. Yeah, yeah. He's got a knife out this week. He's got a what? He's got, He's got a knife, knife out this week. Out this week. <laughs> Tell him, Jack, that's not a knife. This is a that's knife. right. That's right, brother. <laughs> hey, you even got the accent going. What's going on there, Steve? You've been practicing. You've been practicing yes. before our back Jack arrives, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watching some oh, nice I videos. hate to see what you all got planned for that. Oh, she uh, says FTF. Eight mile. Is eight, in London. eight mile. Did you see the, the GIF that I sent you on Facebook? Yeah, eight mile, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Tank hasn't spoken about him yet, even though Tank's involved with this, but um, you probably would have saw, but I posted some pictures on Facebook, uh, Saddle Rodas, um, who made him. Um, is going to make him look like Mick Dundee. Because I sent him a photo of uh, Paul Hogan from Crocodile Dundee with the vest and the hat with the teeth. So uh, he could have a knife in his hand soon, mate. <laughs> that's that's who uh, made him, was uh, Sator? Or yes, uh, he made him uh, four years ago. And uh, the two years ago we had the, or oh, going on three years, whatever it is, I don't know. Um, we had the first adventure and then Tank spoke about that in his live talk with his mapping, which is a, fa I just think it's a fantastic idea. But, um, and then he got lost. So what happened was I was camming Sador because, you know, he was upset, of course. But um, I, I, I cammed him a couple of years ago. And he didn't want the adventure to stop. And he goes, I have to make another one. I said, no, no, don't make another one. You know, don't, there's no, you know, the adventure's ended, you know. But he was adamant. There was no way I'd say no. He had to make another one. He's a very passionate man. Yeah, I and, didn't know that. That too, who was the one that built it? I thought you said someone different. I didn't recognize the name no, last Pascal. time. No, if we, some of the intros that I say past. My maker, I actually say my maker in one of them, um, Pascal. And then, um, um, yeah, so he was adamant that he had to make another one to continue the adventure. Um, and then he sent it to me in Australia, and there was one more adventure. Um, yeah, but it was all fun back in those days. Everyone was having a blast. Everyone was couldn't wait to get, I mean, like I say, he's only a toy or whatever you want to call it, action figure. But I kind of, uh, I said, I think it was, uh, I spoke to, been speaking to Kagan a bit, and I um, kind of animate them, I kind of bring them to life. It's the whole idea. Just like the of. frog, huh? Yeah, yeah, I did, I, yeah, I, well, we thought of a couple, I mean, I did that, um, nice. me and Jen Oakland, which I know Tank said there was too, I, I agree, there was too much reverb. And then... I was looking for froggy pictures for him to put on the side of his intro, and I thought, hang on a minute. If he's Green Frog RC, why not get his voice and get a, a really clear, good picture of a frog and animate his mouth? So when he, Kagan talked, you know, the mouth would move and stuff, and I had the, uh, the frog noises going on in the background. Yeah, that was cool. It actually, the, Keegan, the, it started to look like you for some reason when I was watching it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll have yeah, to put a beard eyes. on him. I'll have to put the beard on him. Yeah, because I made the eyes blink. <laughs> I made the eyes blink sideways, sort of. And um, I was so busy yeah, I, looking at the mouth that I did not notice the eyes. Yeah, yeah, I made the, I made the eyes actually blink. Okay. They blink only, I think, a couple of times. I'm not sure. But I can make the whole head move around and all that stuff, but there's no point, no point with a frog. Yeah, but I found, a really, I, I found a really vibrant picture for it. So, yeah, it was pretty...
be part of it, yeah, for sure. Yep. So in the chat, boat chat windows, I put the link from RC Hunter, the one he had on his um, YouTube video, uh, where we get that uh, FTX truck. Yep. So you guys can look at that later. I'll have a look around online. Maybe eBay might have them, you know, because they usually lock them or something. But you're probably going to get them from overseas, though. Well, it would be something different to actually try. It would be interesting. Well, I, I, I like the way the LEDs are on it. It's got double spotties at the front. Yeah. And the light bar on right. top. Yeah, the light Price bar. ain't bad either. Yeah, for you guys it is. 200 bucks. Yeah, it's a different story. Yeah, it's closer to three for us by the time you put the text. Yeah. <clears throat> Axiomatics, we're drinking the same thing tonight. Oh, yeah. <coughs> wow. Wild and crazy over here. Yeah, yours is different than mine. I got uh, Nestle Pure Life. Uh, I got shop right, just a local store. Water's water. Exactly. I don't you don't think have to it's more bacteria water. and bottled water than tap water. Steve doesn't have to worry about drinking water. He drinks that poison. <laughs> <laughs> One day you're gonna thank me, mate. You're gonna say I should listen to Jack. <laughs> I told, it contains a small percentage of water. I told my brother how much of these bottles I drink in a week, and he started giving me shit. He goes, "Drink tap water because you're destroying the earth with these bottles." So Who he said that. My <laughs> younger brother. Mm. Yeah, you guys recycle in Canada, right? Yeah, we put them in a recycle bin. That's all right. But people, you know, you go around parks and that people just dump stuff. Yeah. Especially on the beach, the beach is the worst. Yeah, you know, they made uh, straws illegal in uh, uh, California. Oh, really? Canada, they have paper straws now at Subway. That's what uh, Matt Cruiser was saying. Paper straws. Yeah, paper straws. They had now. paper straws years ago. Not here yet. Mm. Answer warning on coffee. Oh, yeah. RC Hunter says the 54060T is a beast. The torque is crazy. Well, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say the torque would be mad. Well, it all depends on the transmission. I, I don't know if they talk about the gearing. Let's see if I can find out if they talk about the gearing. 460 turn. The, yeah, that's what I said earlier. The torque would be crazy on it. it says this oh, thing is up to 13 factory installed LED lamps. Gee. TRX4 hasn't got that, has it, Steve? Uh, I don't it's know. Ask Axio. He's got the light kit. Light. Well, yeah, not factory, but. Yeah, but. With, with all the stock, doesn't come with the whole heap of LEDs, does it? No. No? You gotta put it on after the fact. No, they don't talk in the spec. They don't talk, talk anything about gearing. Uh, they don't talk about the axles gearing. They don't talk about transmission day gearings. They don't talk about nothing. It's a surprise. Yeah. They do talk about 13 factory uh, fitted LED lights. Yeah. Because people like lights, yeah? Oil-filled adjustable shocks. What is, what's, the, what's the motor in the TRX? 21. 21. Yeah, what is it? First turn. <laughs> yeah, 21. 21 turn. Reverse Reverse model. Model. Yeah, but that's with the two speed transmission, too. Ah, okay. Yeah, lock and diffs. Yeah, 21 turn. Yeah. Uh, okay. Reverse wound also. Yep. To compensate for the portal axles. Ah, all right. Extra gearing. But 62, eh? That's pretty good. See you, Tebow. Have a good night. I have 50 turn axial motors. I haven't put them in anything yet. Talk to you later, Tebow. 
Play it all mine. Is that is that I my going? Is it say I my have a good one, mate? He says there's a three speed tranny. That truck has a three speed transmission? No. Yeah, that's why it's so high geared. Is it? Well that's what he just wrote in the comments. I find that very odd. Three speed. Yeah. Three speed is one more than two speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, your your dry sense of humor once again, Tank. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, your dry sense of humor, mate. The uh, the Grand Hauler has a three speed. It's got like an extreme low gear, and then it's got like a high gear. I mostly run in second. Oh gear. no, it says it's a three gear transmission, not three speed. Three gear. Yeah, center uh, compact three gear transmission. That's what's written here. But he in the uh, RC Hunter in the comments said three speed tranny. Uh, and he's saying, "Yep, yeah, it is three speed. Three speed. There must be a typo in the uh, specs." <clears throat> that could so, be a truck. Could be on my on my bucket list then if I can get one. I'll have to look at the uh, RC Hunter's tutorial on uh, unboxing and stuff. See what he says. But obviously, he's happy with it. Looks like he's happy with it, yeah. Does it come in different colors, or is it just one color? Yeah, uh, uh, as long as you like that color, that's the colors it comes with. That's all one color, yeah? I think so. So, what's written here is Sculpture <clears throat> Compact 3 gear transmission. But this is probably a typo. They meant to say 3 speed. Front, center, and rear diff lockers. Oh, really? Oh, this is very interesting for the price. So this already got the, uh, the diffs already locked on it. Yeah. You can open them up too. They're lockable. Let's switch. So that means it has lockers. Uh, RC Hunter, can you unlock them on the fly or lock them on the fly just like a TRX4? That's what I'm wondering. Molded fenders, and there's the size of it. I can't see it. What's it say? A length five hundred and sixty millimeter. Yeah, that's 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 the same. That's the same size as a as a slash. <coughs> and it's uh, three hundred and five millimeter long, uh, wide. Twelve twelve point eight inch wheelbase. Oh, yeah, that is big for a one ton truck. Yeah. When you, look, when you look at a TF2, a TF2 is about 2100. That's three, uh, 300. 305, 305 is 12.8. Yeah. Jeez, it's a big truck. Yeah, the first two TRX cores were 12.8. Wheelbase is 340. 340. Gee. That's that's longer than the Defender. Is it? Yeah. That's my figure. It's probably about the same size as the Defender. No, it's longer. Yeah. Well, I said almost the same size. Well, Slash is 560, isn't it? I know I'm comparing it to a short course truck, but I'm talking about length-wise. Hey, it has a wall charger. There you go. Well, that sells it right there. Ten scale. <laughs> <coughs> it's got to come with a waterproof brushed ESE crawler ESE on top of that. Which, yeah. means, which means it probably got drag brake. Has it got jumpers on the ESE? Don't know. I don't think it shows a picture of it. I see, Hunter. The, you can put a light bulb in it. Comes with NIMS. I wonder if you got more pictures. Oh, yeah, there's more pictures there. Yeah, that's nice. It's even got a stocky on the back. Oh, the ESC looks like a uh, the one we usually buy, which is the cheap one, but it's a, it's a good one. It does have jumpers on it. What's the servo? Here's your transmission. It's three gears, not three speeds. 
No, there yeah, must be. Three. Oh, you said speed, so I don't know if there's. I don't see this as being a three speed transmission. He said there was a three. It's a three shifter. He said, right? Yeah. Could be my next RC. Oh, you get stickers. So I can't take a light by you. Radio. Radio, we'll go back to the radio. Yeah. Radio is a HSP radio, isn't it? Well, it's like uh, it's, off, it looks off like brand. Yeah, it uh, just looks fly like sky a, or whatever hobby the king. Blowing them up. It's all plastic, but hey, for the price, it's a. It looks like a neat little truck. Yeah, it's a pity that they come in different colors. It comes in different colors as long as you add, you like you you like silver. This is very interesting and What's very that? weak. All the rear bumpers actually attach. Oh, look how weak so. that is. I can see that as a breaking point right here. Yeah, looks like oh. body mounts are mounted to it also. How are the body mounts on there? So there's a servo, which is a Japanese or whatever it is. Yeah. It's got some pretty aggressive angle on the shock. Are they angled shocks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 45%. They're on an angle. Where's that remote chassis. again? There's a remote. Hey, I just played with my. I don't see any other switches for transmission or anything on it. That's no, true. No, no, it's just P1 have them. It yeah, just I don't think it has a three speed. And see the radius has two chains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's saying it's a three shifter though. That's what's written, three speed, but. It's nice looking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want a black or red uh, jack, uh, that can be a range. It's, uh, it's called a spray can. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's my dry humor for you again. That's all right. Hmm. <laughs> cool. And I've got to go because my battery's about to blow up. Nice to see everyone. Find the chat. All right, Kagan. Jack. Oh. Oh, later, Kagan. Okay. Oh, no worries. Okay. It's later. Well, we're about to end anyways. Thanks for jumping in. No worries. See you later. See you. See you later. Cool. Well, even if it's a, it's a single speed, it see, seems still seems like a, an interesting truck for the price. So oh, yeah. I'll look more into details here. But one one kit that I think is is worth the money here would be where is that kit? I know I had the window open earlier, but now I can't find it. Too many things open. Uh, share this guy. I knew you were going to do that. You knew I was going to do that? I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> now this for one ninety nine US, which is about two fifty or two sixty here, is one heck of a deal. Because me, I'm thinking I'm going to get this for Christmas, and put all my electronics off my SEX ten uh, onto here. Uh, I could even put my body on there. And, but then I'll have a whole new chassis, a whole new thing on it. And I do have upgraded uh, axles on my SCX-10, but my son doesn't on his old SCX-10. So I got the wide turning radius and all that, and I got lockers in it. So uh, overdrive in the front. So I'm thinking I'm going to give my axles to my son, take his axle, put it on my, back on my old SCX-10, and then I can sell my old SCX-10 or keep it and try to get some money to pay for this one. 
because SCX10 is still a, uh, a lot of people still want them. So this for one ninety nine is a good kit. I think that's gonna be my Christmas gift. Nice. Yeah, I might pick up one uh, myself. I got two bodies, two SCX ten bodies. So I've got, oh, yeah? got that kit. Well, we like I've been in it for so long that I have spare tires. I have spare rims. Uh, I even have some spare electronics, uh, like uh, crawler motors, uh, not. Um, uh, uh, br uh, brushless. The only spare one I have now is the one that uh, Axiomatics uh, sent me, and that's probably going to go in my slash to replace my other one. So <clears throat> there, I almost have enough just to build a whole truck, no problem. And I have some spare bodies here, so it's 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 a good kit when you compare that price to a re uh, a kit version with the body and the wheels and all that. So. Absolutely. I mean, I kind of wish uh, the uh, TRX4 when they had the kit for that. It, it, unfortunately, you got to buy you know, the, all the electronics and everything else with it. With the TRX4 kit? Yeah. They, no, I got the kit. I had the kit. It came with all electronics. That's what I'm saying, but it's a shame it does because it could be a lot cheaper. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you said it didn't. Okay. I'm not using the ESC or, or anything out of it anymore, so I pay all that money for well, one of my buddy, he bought a TRX4, and the first thing he did, he tore out all the electronics on it because everybody that has one, it catches on fire or it burns out or whatever. So he put a Tekken motor in there. He put a, a another uh, Chinese ESC in there, and he says, there. And he never had any problems since. So, Yeah, I have a, a Tekken. I have a Tekken RX4 in my, uh, in my TRX4. Cool. The... Uh... I had I had three or four of the stock ESCs and I burned all all of them out. I sent one back to Traxxas; they replaced it. I burnt that one out. Um, so I got I got a box. Uh, just there's four ESCs sitting in there. They're dead. Wow. Well, it doesn't look good for for Traxxas for that truck, anyways. For the electronics, I know a lot of people had problems with it. Yeah, now they have these new servos that came out, and uh, what they don't tell you is, well, they do tell you, you got to read into it. You really need a VEC, so Traxxas has their own branded VEC coming out. It's not available yet, but by the time you get done with everything, you're talking about 200 and something dollars for uh, a servo upgrade. Mm-hmm. Yep. You do a Savox with a Castle VEC for under 100 <laughs> Cool. Yeah, RC Hunter says he didn't mean three gears and not three speeds. Sorry. So that's straightened out. Yeah, it's similar to the SCX 10 too, the three gear training. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> well, guys, thanks for everybody that showed up. Uh, we've been broadcasting for two hours now. Um, I got to work tomorrow and do a bunch of stuff. So thanks for jumping in. Um, we'll see you next week. And uh, keep having fun with RCs. Thanks, guys. Uh, um, thanks, Steve O.D. All right, thank you. Andy Sir Shrimp a lot. He's on pause right now. Here's Green Frog, Kagan, a.k.a. Thanks, Kagan. Thanks, Francois. And Axiomatics. Thanks, his beautiful Francois. table again. Yeah. And it's bad it's not Halloween. We couldn't see his nice scarf and face. Oh, there's the hand. He, yeah. Axiomatic is also known as the hand model. Model, uh, he makes million dollar million uh, weekly, showing uh, stuff with his hands. So <laughs> glad to have him on the show. And thank you for all you guys. And Earl RC just jumped in right now. He says sorry, I'm late. And then he's typing no. Yes, Earl, you're gonna have to rewind the whole show and type and chat to yourself. Sorry, Alan. <laughs> Sorry, bud. So, good night, all, and um, have fun with the RCs. Good night.